Wednesday the 15th. Oh, did I swing around too quick there? 15th of June. Haven't picked up the camera for a wee while now. I actually can't remember the last time I picked up the camera, but I've been shopping, so I'm gonna share that with you. And gosh, I should have looked at what my last bit of footage was because I really can't remember. Okay, the place is starting to look very holiday vibe like. Well, the cases I knew they were here, so I've just we've got this room doing nothing. So basically, I've just started putting things away like I've washed that so I'm not gonna wear it again I've put it there I've got that going on there my dress is back from the Hindu what am I talking about I'm thinking about that to wear that for the Hindu and I'm, anyway my dress is back from the dry cleaners and it's absolutely fine so this is my dress that I'm wearing to the wedding which is actually it's got the detail of it it's beautiful this is my dress that i'm wearing <laughs> oh man to the hindu oh people hold on i was saying that's the dress i'm going to wear to the hindu but i will be doing outfits um, but let me show you a couple of the bikinis that I picked up, which was yesterday. I went yesterday to pick up bikinis. I'll get into all of that. But as they're sitting here, let me show you them. So I picked this one up. There we go. And the bottoms to that look like so. And they've got a little frill on either side so that one was from next and i was it was hard trying to find matches and this the sizing and all of that anyway got that one i've showed you this one before that one was from premark i quite like that one i don't like my bikinis and the bikinis now are fat like the style you could like high really high-waisted I don't like a really high-waisted bikini I don't think it's flattering for me but I don't I have to be careful where the bikini cuts is that dirty Um, I have to be careful where the bikini cuts me across here because of my hysterectomy well these things we women have to think about uh, so that one was from Primark that one was from next and I got this one as well. Um, this is like, I think it's a halter neck. Yeah, it's a halter neck. That's actually the type that suits me the most. So I got that one. And just a plain pair of bottoms for that as well. So that was from Next. And then I picked this one up from River Island. There we go. Like that. Again, this is it, this is high enough, but it can if you've got a wee podgy tummy that this cut can emphasise your tummy. It can. Anyway, that's very different for me, but I got that just to have a little difference. And that's Kelly's shoes, but I've got them as well, and that will look nice with them. So that's that also with that bikini i got this matching blouse which actually i wore yesterday when i bought it because i was wearing shorts and we were quite late and it was a, like an outdoor shopping center but we we're actually at the fort so I, I actually took the label off and put that over my black um kind of all-in-one kind of what do you call it what they called the all-in-one but it was a shorts style one uh, so that's that what have I got in there oh that's my shoes from Zara so I really really like that so that's not just to wear over the bikini as a cover up okay I'm going to hang my dress up so it's not sitting there and then we will chat camera up I got recall these trunks I didn't think he would go for them actually because he's quite he likes kind of things like that that are not so loud and um, that was his old ones but I feel as if Rico's been wearing the same trunks for ages and I really like them so and I noticed they had a shirt to match and I was like oh he's never gonna wear that but I suggested it to him and he was okay with it that's just the carrier bag so 
we are at that stage people we are at that stage okay right we have sat down i'm gonna finish showing you all of this and i'm gonna i want to show it quickly now because i want to iron i'm gonna go back to the gym to do my sweat class and then i'm gonna go and return the things that i'm gonna tell you that i return right so yesterday when i was in the fort picking up my bikinis i picked up the dress that I tried on on a previous vlog, that's what it looks like, and I got it in a size small. Still not 100%, if it does fit me much better in a small, but I'm going to try it on and make up my mind. I also picked up, so that was from Mango, um, and that was 49 I think. I picked up a pair of wedgies from Mango as well, and I really liked these wedges. I've got another pair of wedgies, summer wedgies, which are from Dune, years and years and years old. I just feel these are really casual and I wanted a shoe in that colour. I've got a flat shoe in that colour. I wanted kind of a higher one and I feel as if this is really casual and I really liked it. I was desperate to wear this yesterday as soon as I got them. So I know um, they're going to be for me. So it's got that, that raffia type actually so do my other ones have that raffia so i got them and they were 49 and 99 from mango i'm, I'm actually really really desperate to wear them right let's see what else i got so i got just a hat from primark so you know you don't care for squashes and all of that i think this was four times you know hats don't suit me people it's certainly not gonna look <laughs> <laughs> but I need it, I like this because it's going to it protect me from the hot sun and that's what I want it for, it's not for glamour and it's only about £4 so we got that, so if we do a boat trip or anything because the boys like to do all of that you know, that's, that's where you burn when you're on a boat because it's breezy, you don't realise how hot it is and that's when the danger starts so I picked up a pair of these. I might pick up another pair actually. Two pounds for the whole set. They were all reduced. I doubt very much they'll have any more left. So the original price of these was eight pounds. I picked them up for two pounds. Actually, Ruth went and picked up a pair as well. So I picked up this bikini. Right, which is lovely, lovely, lovely. So what happens with me with these types of bikinis, okay, right? So I don't like it when I ooze out on the side here. I don't want side boob people. I'm watching River Island just now and their bikinis are just covering their nipples. And they've got side boobs, under boobs, over boobs and middle boobs and every type of boob. So, but what happens is if I size up, right? then it'll cover my side boob but then it gapes here so that's why I need like a better a bigger cup because I, I don't have big boobies people but I'm just I'm really funny about the fit of bikinis so that's going back although I liked I liked the briefs of these I liked how high up they came and I liked how much they cover my bum so that's another thing everybody's into letting their bums hang out just now actually the ones that I got are quite a wee bit more brief on the bum than I would normally wear but it's fine it's it covers <laughs> so I'm returning the bikini oh and I got this sarong which I absolutely love I really love this I'm gonna keep it this was four pounds I made four pounds I'm going to see if it matches with any of the bikinis that I've got or maybe take it I just love the colours of that or maybe take it back and um, so I got that obviously to match that bikini um, let's see if I can get a, a different colour that will match although this is, oh, anyway I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking everything people so I just wanted to share those things with you before I return them I've got enough clothes that I was just, I panicked about my bikinis yesterday because I tried on all my bikinis yesterday. And I remember last year, I've had my bikinis for years, and I remember last year feeling I wasn't happy with them, but I'd left it too late. And then when I went to buy some more, I couldn't get 
any that I liked and again it was the sizing got really really difficult so um and I tried them on again yesterday in fact I thought I'd, when I bought that bikini I thought I'm trying this bikini on let me try them all on and I tried them on I love the tops of my bikinis that I've already got but again it's the bottoms I've just thought no I'm not gonna make do this year with them I not gonna make do and I was putting it on the gossip girl chat and Kelly says to me Andrea do you remember because the hotel we stayed in I mean, it's a beautiful hotel and it had like beautiful shopping had designer shopping in it and everything anyway just you were tr you were in there trying bikinis in the hotel last year in the shops so and again I, I, was, I was struggling to find ones that I liked so I like the ones that I have now I've bought them so that's three that'll do me I know when I was a, when I was a wee girl we took one bikini people one bikini and maybe one swimming costume now we've got like so that's three new ones I've got um and probably one of my old ones I can still take anyway that's my catch up I'm gonna go and iron now and then I'm gonna go back to Primark I haven't been vlogging one I just I just I've got I want to catch up with the vlogs I'm just I'm not catching up and I don't like when the vlogs go up so late and they are really really going up really late just now so I think it'll, and I I do a lot on Instagram which is quite similar so bye I'm talking nonsense I came home oh I went and got threading done yesterday I got my eyebrows threaded and while I was there, I just said to her, just just go for the face as well. I, I mean, honestly, this girl that I go to, she's amazing. She just, like when she was threading, she goes into all the nooks and crannies that, you know, if you're a hairy Greek girl, you know. You know about those places where hair grows and, you know. Anyway, so she was really getting into the, the threading. I mean, I've booked my lasering. I'm going to go and get, like my yearly laser sh 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 everywhere but the laser doesn't pick up the light coloured hairs whereas the threading <laughs> so she went for that but it did inflame my skin so I haven't been vlogging because I want to catch up with the vlogs pull out my camera when I can be bothered and I've got something to show you and I thought I've got a lot here to show you let me show you you know so yeah and of course if you carry on following the vlogs you'll see all these outfits when I'm on holiday plus the footage of the wedding plus all our outfits recalls the boys what we wear in us on a summer holiday wedding the bride who's going to be absolutely stunning and I might even once um once I have filmed the wedding and uploaded the wedding, wedding, I might show you some of the dresses that Maria tried on. I've got them all on my phone, actually, of all the dresses she tried on. So I might do a wee, this is one she tried on, this is one, da -da 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 -da. I've got quite a few of them that she tried on. And then you'll see the beautiful one she ended up with. They were all beautiful. Anyway, enough, enough, enough. I'm going to go and iron. <laughs> and then back to the gym. Hello and welcome to oh, oh, Friday the 15th people, it is the 15th, it is absolutely roasting, hair is done, so that's the roots done again and yeah, oh it's been so much better but it's done, so I'm going to go and try and get myself a new uh, belly, 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 what are they called? Belly bar, a belly bar. I need a new belly bar. I've lost the stone to my belly bar and I don't like being out without the stone. So I'm going to go and try and get myself another one. And it has to be a gold one. I've got my original one that I got my belly button pierced with, which is that surgical steel and it's got my bathstone in it, my amethyst.
clothes with the diamond in it. It's so annoying. So we're just gonna go and try and get one just now. Most of the time nobody sees it. <laughs> but I see it and that's what counts. I also I have just picked up a tie to go with Rico's uh, suit. people welcome to saturday the 17th we've got another busy one today we are gonna wash down the driveway and we've got a big big driveway that's just a wee tiny bit of it i think the last time i spoke to you was in the car yesterday i may have even got the date wrong i don't know but anyway before i go outside let me show you i don't know if i showed you these things I don't know oh will be a bit right let's see so I got the shirt that matches the shorts for Rico I got this cover up I didn't return this I picked up another one but I returned to the bikini Um, I bought hangers from TK Maxx what else and I bought Rico shoes, which I think are going back. They were from TK Maxx. This dress, the brown dress that I got from Mango is going back. I've decided it's just, it's not appropriate for the hen night and it's not a holiday vibe dress. But I've ordered a whole load of dresses from Zara. I was trying things on today. Let me switch that mic off. I was trying things on this morning because I didn't go to the gym so I had time and I've ordered a few things from Zara just to test right I'm just gonna finish cleaning my kitchen but I want to take you out to Rico just now Rico's ready to go what's that all right so it rained last night which gave the plants a good watering so Rico has bought some more soil. That's compost. Com oh. That's soil. People, we need to get this right. Right, he keeps having a go at me because I keep. So this is compost. What's that bag there? Compost. Who bought that? Me. You. Me. I bought that. That's what I bought. So Rico went and got these the other morning, and also topsoil. Okay. So we're going to get this bed ready for the kohlrabi. The lettuce, some of the lettuce are in. We're going to cover this. We've got some netting. Rico and I are going to cover this just now. I did have plastic containers over them. I'm scared of that green fly that you get on lettuce because I've had that before on my veg. Definitely going to get some strawberries and I need to cover them before the birds get at them. So this is what's going on here. So that's the one I bought. It's very different, isn't it? Yeah. Is it just because it's dry? Do you but, think? Um, it's quite a lot. I don't know. 
I don't like it. He doesn't like it. I bought it as well the first time. Did you? That's what's in all the pots over there. All right. All that horrible stuff that that. Exactly. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, I don't like it. It's this this stuff that we could put on top of my pots. This is how my veggies are doing. It's this stuff which is horrible. Um, this is how they're all doing. They're doing well. So I've been taking the lettuce out of here and planting them in the beds and I'm going to take those out as well and replant them in the beds as well. This is my kohlrabis, so that's what we're getting the bed ready for. As you can see, I've got lots of kohlrabi here. My rocket only managed to grow three radishes. We have one uh, beetroot because it's, they're a nightmare to clean. If you grow them, he says they're a nightmare to clean. That's my beetroot. I think that's another one coming through there. One pepper. And onions. Got plenty of onions. I don't know if the camera's going to pick them up. Got plenty of onions here. Carrots. Got quite a few carrots coming through. And my flat leaf parsley. Looking fabulous. The pots are looking good as well. We've got this sitting here just now, temporarily. This is what I managed to rescue from the last disaster. I think what we've got going on here is three tomatoes. There was a kohlrabi growing there. I think that died, whatever it was. But it looks like we might, if we're lucky, get three tomato plants. There's something else here. I don't know what that is. So, Lily's here. Nico's got the hose ready. Aren't these herbs looking lovely? That's my coriander coming through as well. Right, let's finish the kitchen and get out and get the driveway clean. Okay, <laughs> we are ready to do this. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi, <laughs> Janice. Hi, <laughs> Janice. We haven't seen Janice for a while. There she is, right there. Did you hear about Lolly down this morning? No. Right, and in my house, I him and run back out again. Oh, did she? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we are using what we're using. Is your camera off? All the cameras are off. We are using this stuff here. What's it called? Hypochlorite. Hypochlorite. So you're going to wet the driveway first. Yes. yes. Apply the hypochlorite. Straight? Or are you diluting it? Diluting it 50 50. You're supposed to dilute it a wee bit more than that, but 50 50 is a bit stronger. So we'll only give it one one wash. Okay. okay. So, how come you've got goggles and I haven't? Because I'm the one that's pouring it in here, isn't it? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I've got my gear ready, people. <laughs> it's the gear, people. Right, Janice says I have to turn my camera off. Okay, Rico's diluted it in the. Uh, Watering can, so watering can. So we've had a little domestic about him putting it in the watering can, but he assures me he's going to clean it out, so uh, we don't kill the plants. I'll just use my other watering can. Will you? Yeah, can't risk that. So we're soaking the driveway first. We. Well, I've already soaked that a few times. Right. And then we're going to pour this over it, and then brush it. Agitate it, people. We shall agitate it. Guess who's going to be doing the agitating? Mm. I'll do the agitating. Do the mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Right, let's That's do that. him putting the solution down. So this is how we clean the driveway instead of using the power jet hose thing, which makes a whole load of mess. Are we going to leave that in before we brush it? Yeah. Hi, you get to face on. Gosh, I was the last vlog I was editing, edited to editing. Oh my goodness, I was all over the place. The door. So Rico's not listening to my nonsense. Um, we have um, cleaned the driveway. I have planted a few of my kohlrabi. I was turning this on because I want to do my... I'm going to do my nails because I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do the, the video I keep promising. Top 50 random facts about more 
I went looking for this and it's sitting right here. Okay, by the way, I love this. This is my new favourite um, nail varnish remover. So this is the Acetone Free Nail Polish Remover from Boots. I love it. I really, really love it. I got this when I had gels on and I was, well, I had French gels on and I was painting over them. Oh, I don't care what they say. And, and see, anything you put on your nails, it ruins your nails. I'm, I'm trying to build my nails back now. Only to go and add um, extensions. I mean, I'm not really a fan of them, but I just think it would be nice for the wedding. They'll stay on for that week and then I'm going to peel them off and I'm going to ruin my nails. Because that's, that's what I do. Okay, I don't do favourites videos because I just, I change things, I forget. But I'm telling you, this is my new favourite, you know, like how the white tones go. So I'm taking it off, I'm going to put the same colour on. It's white with a pink undertone and it's Sally Hansen Instant Dry. Uh, the number is 239 and in a blush is what it's called. I'll try and link it in the description box because honestly it's been one of my apps. I just love the tone of it. It's just perfect. It's not white. It's not a pink. It's a bit of both. It just gives you that effect. It's opaque and all of that. And I've, oh, I've washed my hands but I've been digging planting the kohlrabi. We've put netting over it. I'll show you all of that as well. I'll take you outside. So all we've got to do now is to wash the uh, slabs in the back garden. We did the corner right up where the seating area is, the bamboo area. We washed them down and they came up really well. There's a few stains but Rico reckons if he gets the jet wash thing out, they'll lift. But the, I mean it's, it's looking good. You know I don't like a perfect garden. I like... A very, I said, I said this in the other lot, but I don't like. I mean, they're lovely, they're beautiful to look at, but you know when it's all the perfect decking and the perfect fencing and it's all grey matched and it all just looks very magazine-like to me. That's not a garden. In the same way, we used to, we used to have a gardener when both Rico and I worked, only because we just didn't have the time to do it ourselves neither Rico or I had the time we were both working full time and the last thing you want to do on a Sunday on your day off is gardening so now we're just um doing these things that you know and I think that gardening is the fun is doing it yourself it's it's the same for me like Rico keeps saying to me why do you grow things from seed just get the plants it's, for me it's about planting the seed and you know it's like growing your baby <laughs> I don't know I can't explain it and for me the, the bonus is eating that vegetable that I've grown from a seed you know if somebody else has planted it grown it from a seed put it in a pot and all I've had to do is replant that plant into, I do that with my bedding plants. I don't. I don't. It's, the thing is not about flowers for me. It's about vegetables, right? So I buy the bedding plants and put them in. Yeah, I do that. But for me, the vegetables is just growing them from seed, and um, then eating the vegetables. You know. So that's what I enjoy doing. Anyway, honestly. I think I've said this to you already, but my mum would. But my mum's up there going, when did she turn into this person? She never ever thought. She used to drag me to school to say, she used to drag me to show me the olive trees, and I go, mum, really? What do I care about the olive trees or the plum trees or the vines or the? But I, but I don't care. <laughs> she used to say to me, oh, this is all going to be yours one day. You need to learn to love it. Here I am now. She's never, ever, she, honestly, she would never believe it. Never in a million years. I, I am not that person that would plant veg or anything like that. In the same way when she used to 
do the golifa for my dad, you know, the golifa what we make when um for the memorial day of our loved ones and um she used to shout me when she used to do them for my dad come through and see how these are made and I'm like no 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 she's we just come through who is going to make my godly for like for her if you don't make my godly for now she said don't worry about it I'll pay somebody to make you godly for and she used to look at me in disgust I make the best godly for now <laughs> oh man okay that's the nail varnish off I'm now going to do my base coat with I'm using Sally Hansen just now it's all right you know how I loved the nail teaks base coat and I loved it I don't know since the I couldn't get it for ages and then once I've started repurchasing it to me they've, they've changed it it's not the same as it used to be I used to swear by that for growing my nails but I'm not I'm not impressed with it anyone I've I had that in the house so I'm just using that because like I said I'm gonna get extensions on my nails for the wedding anyway that's what my nails are looking like just now so quite a few of them broke because of the um of the of the gels that I had on because it, it does weaken your nails and um I just I filed the rest down because that's actually that one and that one's my quickest growing nails so they'll catch up quickly with them so that's how they're looking just now not too bad I mean two minds actually if I should get extensions on anyway I'm gonna do my nails <laughs> 